Welcome to Gunworks Long Range University. We have the privilege of training hundreds of clients every year, accompanying them both in training and in the field. We have the joy of witnessing triumphs, but we also share in the heartbreak of missed shots. Each miss provides a learning opportunity, and often the simplest mistakes are the ones that hurt the most. So let's look at correcting the top five basic mistakes hunters make under pressure. Coming in at number two in our countdown of five simple mistakes that cause heartbreaking misses in the field is parallax. Now parallax is defined as the image of the crosshair and the image of the target not being focused on the same plane. Now what does this really mean? Imagine shooting a pistol without a rear sight. We'd place the front sight on the target without a rear sight to properly align our eye with, we would likely miss. Now a scope does not have a rear sight and a scope also has what we call a forgiving eye box. And what this means is my eye can be a little bit out of center behind that scope and I can still see through it. The scope has the ability to compensate for our eye being out of position behind it through parallax. However, parallax can only be set for one distance at a time. Now parallax is seen as the apparent movement of the reticle across the target as we move our eye behind the scope. Now a good representation or a good way to see parallax is just take your thumb, extend your arm out in front of you and place the tip of your thumb on an object. Now the tip of my thumb is on a spot on the wall. If I move my face down, the tip of my thumb is now above that spot on the wall. To compensate, I would move my arm, which represents the whole rifle, down so the crosshairs are now on the target. So having parallax literally gives you a false representation of where the crosshairs are. Now parallax is adjusted with the side focus on the scope. And as the name implies, the side focus also focuses your target image. On this Revix scope here, the parallax adjustment is right here. And you'll see it has numbers on it that loosely correspond to your distance and yardage. Now checking for parallax is a two-step process. The first step is to use the side focus knob and focus the image of the target in the scope. Once you get that target crisp and clear, your parallax is going to be close but not perfect. Especially on a day where you have a lot of mirage and you can't really get that target to come into focus. Step number two is to check for reticle movement. This is where we put the gun on the bags, and I'm gonna put my face on that stock, I'm gonna put the crosshairs on the target, and without moving the gun, I'm gonna nod my face forward until the scope blacks out, and then nod my head back until the scope blacks out. So I'm moving my eye up and down. And during that movement, I'm looking for the crosshair to float up and down on the target. Now, if I have any movement, if that crosshair is floating up and down on the target, I wanna fine tune that parallax adjustment, and I wanna find that spot where I can move my face around behind that scope and the reticle does not move across the target. Now, how much error can having your parallax improperly set create in your shot? For example, if I'm looking at a target approximately 800 yards away and I have my parallax set for 200, the target might be a little blurry, but I probably wouldn't notice. Now, if I move my face up and down, like I just talked about, that reticle will move at least probably 12 inches on that target. So depending on my face position behind the gun, I could be shooting six inches high to six inches low, and your group downrange is gonna be representative of that. Now, if you're a consistent shooter, you may put your face in that same out of center position every time, and you can shoot a great group downrange. However, that group center might be six inches high or six inches low. Oftentimes when people think their data's bad or the zero's off on their gun, the reality is, they just have parallax. Not all scopes are created equal when it comes to parallax. You know, I think back to my Marine Corps sniper days and we used a fixed 10 power inertial scope. And the parallax adjustment on that took an Allen wrench so it wasn't really field adjustable. And so what we would do is we would set the parallax at these scopes on the range at 300 yards. So we didn't have any reticle movement. And with this 300 yard setting, we were pretty much parallax free all the way out to a thousand yards we might have a tiny bit of parallax at 1,000, and we knew that we'd have parallax at 100. So when we were zeroing at 100 yards, we were just very mindful of that, and we made sure our eye was centered behind the scope when we were zeroing at 100 yards. Pretty much every scope I've used since then, it seemed like the parallax always had to be adjusted every time you switched yard lines. Probably one of the most forgiving scopes I've found is this Revic RS25i. If I take a look at the parallax knob on here, the 500 and the 1,000 are almost on top of each other. So I can literally set my parallax for 800 or 1,000 yards, and there is almost no visible movement of 400, 
and no visible movement at a thousand. So in the meat of our shooting distances, I really don't have to mess with this parallax adjustment. Now, if I compare that to this Leopold here, and you'll see how much movement there is between the 400 yard setting and the thousand yard setting, I have to adjust this scope every time I change yard lines. I would say in my experience, you know, when we have a student that shoots over or shoots under a target and we know their data is good, at least half the time the culprit is parallax. Yeah, you know, when going back through about 30 years of uh, sniper experience, both as an instructor and as, and as a participant, you know, I'd say about half the time when myself or another sniper thought that their data was off or that their rifle wasn't zeroed anymore, the culprit was parallax. So join us next time we talk about number one in our countdown of five simple mistakes that cause heartbreaking misses in the field. Also, we'd love to have you at Long Range University. Check out gunworks.com for a schedule of our classes.